Now let me walk you through the different steps you need to create a 3D experience twin. So the first one is to understand how to start from an engineering boom and convert it into a manufacturing boom. What are the different components? What are the different assemblies? And where are the places where you should be assembling them? Then the second step is to try to understand all of those processes in the 3D context. Should you start with 2D drawings, point clouds, or CAD data, you want to understand the space allocation. Should this machine that you want to acquire fit into that space? Those are questions you may wonder. The third step is about making sure that the machines you have are fit for purpose. Is that welding machine is going to collapse with the product when welding? Is that arm is going to be able to reach that place when in operations? Think those things are the ones you want to secure before either acquiring or selecting uh, an equipment or workstation. The last step is about taking all those elements together and understand how the different moving parts are going to be behaving. So during that last step, you will understand what will be your KPIs and how to improve them before running your new operations. As you may have understood it, the 3D Experience Twin is not meant to be used for one time. And actually, here are some examples of extension that you may consider for the long run. If you have a new environment, a new equipment to come, you may wonder how this or the program that is delivered by the supplier is going to be behaving in the long run. And as such, you may have here the ability to be interested at doing virtual commissioning. And this is how, by doing so, that you can secure the fact that the equipment is going to be producing at the right pace that the program is going to behave, to behave as you are expecting it to behave. Another use case could be around ergonomics. As the environment is going to be redesigned, changed, uh, and as you may require to embark new workers, you may want to, to check whether or not this environment is comfortable for different types of people, different types of mannequins, and as such, if this environment is safe for your workers. A third extension possible could be around virtual training. As you are going to be integrating in your line new products, new equipments, you want to have one environment that is always up to date and that is helping your workers to understand, even before they go to the line, how to assemble the different parts to create that final product. And lastly, we have some customers that are asking us to make sure that the environment that they are evolving in is nicely flowing and as such that there is no retention of air anywhere and as to help them to at the end remove some of the PPEs that we are currently required to wear on.